The bomb dropped here? Yes, it did, Sue. Hey, now. Take a step outside and seize the day now. Hey, good morning. So it's a bright and early Saturday morning. We're traveling up to Florence, South Carolina to help someone move some furniture. Um, Florence is a small little southern town um, about an hour and a half west of Myrtle Beach. We've never been there, so we'll show you what it looks like, and I'm kind of curious myself. It's a beautiful day, no rain, sun will be out later. All right, here we go. To get there, we took Route 31 to 501 to 76. During most of the trip, we passed the beautiful South Carolina countryside. And there were two points of interest that we stopped to see along the way. The first was Sparky's, located along 501 in Marion, South Carolina. Hey Steve, stop here! Sparky's is a country store and gift shop that over the last 30 years has grown to over 20,000 square feet. It has everything a traveler might need. Let's take a look inside. So we took a quick stop at Sparky's and Sue bought me this cool hat because I forgot my hat today. <laughs> Great place, you gotta stop there. They got everything in there. So our next stop as we continued to Florence, South Carolina was the site of the only atomic bomb drop in the United States. So in 1958, an atomic bomb was dropped by accident right behind this abandoned gas station. Fortunately, the atomic warhead was not active, but the triggering detonation did go off, and that created a huge crater and destroyed part of a farm. Now let's continue to Florence. The outskirts of Florence has all the usual retail spots. There is even a Lidl food store from Germany. But we're interested in exploring Florence's historic downtown. And we're gonna do that right after we load up this truck. We were helping family pick up some furniture. Is that all you're carrying? That's it. Soon they were packed up and ready to go. It was now time to check out the historic downtown of Florence. Florence got its start back in 1853, when a train depot was constructed to accommodate three rail lines that merged in this area. Like many small cities in the south, some buildings are abandoned, but there is revitalization going on, and that's exactly what we found. Okay, so we're checking out the historic downtown of Florence. What do you think, Sue? Interesting. Yeah, we're gonna go to the museum and uh, then grab something to eat at a barbecue pit down here. So, uh, nice sunny day at least. Our first stop was the Florence County Museum. So, uh, believe it or not, Florence has its own museum and across the street, that's the uh, Performing Arts Center. The county museum was surprisingly nice inside. So there's no admission fee, and um, there's history on one side, and artwork on the other side. We explored both floors of the museum. Everything from local history to even fossils were on display. We even came across a tree. So here's a uh, cypress found in the banks of a river that carbon dated, uh, determined it's about 100,000 years old. So we've mentioned in the past how rice was king in South Carolina, and it was definitely hard work. One thing they had to do was to uh, get the husk off the rice. 
And to do that, they used this uh, mortar and pestle and ground the rice. So they also have a display about the accidental droppage of the nuclear bomb outside of a Florence that we just stopped and saw the plaque on the way in. So apparently the uh, nuclear part of the bomb was not armed, but the detonator did go off when it hit the ground and caused considerable damage to a neighboring farm. And the whole story about what happened is actually right here at the uh, Florence Museum. And these are actual bomb metal fragments from the bomb. So here's an interesting bit of local Florence history. Did you know that the FBI agent Melvin Purvis was the one who captured John Dillinger and Melvin Purvis was actually born and raised in the Florence area. He was a special agent for the FBI in Chicago when he actually caught uh, John Dillinger and Melvin Purvis became so famous that they actually made board games about him and uh, comic books and other um, interesting little things for kids and adults alike. Take a look. After checking out the museum, we walked across the street to take a sneak peek at the Performing Arts Center. then headed outside to check out the historic buildings. Soon it was time to try some local barbecue. All right, time for some real down-to-earth Florence barbecue. You guys ready? We're ready. Okay. We headed over to Holy Smokin' downtown for some down-to-earth barbecue. Our pulled pork sandwiches and the barbecue sauce were absolutely wonderful. That was excellent barbecue. Some of the best I've had, actually. So if you're down in Florence, you gotta check this place out. Um, I'll put a link below. But um, probably one of the best uh, pulled pork sandwiches I've had is our sauce. Until next time, safe travels.